Hello yogis. Uh, welcome to Modern Wisdom. Uh, I'm calling this series Modern Wisdom because um, it's part of what I do in my yoga classes. I sometimes call them Dharma talks too. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to start to to speak about some of the subjects I talk in my yoga class and um, bringing together the pieces of yoga sutras, the other um, wisdoms that I've studied over the past 20 years, and um, hopefully bring them into a modern context uh, so that we can have some sort of discussion about what works for us and how we can bring in ancient teachings, not so ancient teachings, and um, help us move along all of our spiritual evolution. And as a teacher, you know, I teach to learn, and this is really what we do as teachers. You know, we become teachers because uh, we want to continue our studies in this, and um, it's really helpful to teach um, if that's your path. And if you want to go a little deeper, um, this is what we do. We end up teaching it. So um, today I want to talk about uh, a story that my friend Nina told me about her father, who was a concentration camp survivor. He was in Auschwitz, and then he went to Poland. He was uh, Polish. And um, I didn't actually even realize that uh, you ended up in uh, a concentration camp just for being Polish. This is also part of the story that I had no idea. So, um, but she told me this beautiful story about her father and the moment that her father realized that he was going to survive the camp. He'd been there for six years, which is an awful, awful long time. Uh, just thinking about that, what that would have been like for six years, of your life being tortured in that way um, for six years. When, when I think about the moments in my life where I feel stressed um, or I have some sort of internal suffering um, and how um, if it continues on and I'm not able to resolve it quickly, uh, how occasionally how unbearable that feels. So um, when I even just go to six years um, of, of being um, uh, victimized and tortured in that way, it's pretty unbelievable to go back again to this incredible moment in our history. Um, but his personal story is, is that the moment he realized he was going to survive the camp, or how he was going to survive the camp, I think probably how he was going to survive, was that he was out uh, digging a ditch, doing hard labor, and there was a moment, it was in Poland, it was the winter, so there is no sun, apparently, in Poland in the winter. And uh, there was a moment where the sun shone, and he felt the sun on his shoulder and on his neck. And uh, it was a moment of grace. And the moment of grace brought him the realization. He had that moment of meditation where he came out of his physical emotional circumstance and was, be, was able to see the big picture. And then he realized that if he did not release and let go of his anger and his hate and work on forgiveness at that moment, that he was not going to make it to the end of this experience. And wow, <laughs> what an incredibly profound um, thing First of all, if that was your father, to hear from your father and to experience as a human being. And the biggest lesson that you know I, I hear from that that I wanted to share is that we all have aggressors that we feel are aggressive towards us. We all have people in our life that we feel have done us wrong or that we're holding on to resentment, anger, hate, judgment. And just like Nina's father, who realized that he was not going to survive and thrive unless he let go of that anger, it's exactly the same lesson for us. He was in an extreme circumstance. Hopefully we're not in as such an extreme circumstance, but it really is the same lesson. Now, it does not mean we condone what the other person or people are doing towards us. It means that we are not going to allow that resentment to swallow us up. And we're going to open up to that moment of grace. And ultimately, on top of this, 
if we're working with the principles of oneness, that there is only one, right, we have to realize that at some point there's nobody doing something outside to us. This is on the spiritual level, not on the physical level. Obviously, at physical level, things go down, which are um, awful. But on the spirit level, there is only one. And so by forgiving your aggressors, you're also forgiving yourself, you're forgiving the whole planet, and you're partaking in the healing of the planet. So it's huge. It's one of probably the most important spiritual lessons that we can work on, and it is a daily lesson. So thank you for checking in. I hope that the uh, teachings of Nina's father were inspiring to you, as they were to me, to work on letting go and um, a sense of surrender, and therefore a sense of peace of mind. Thank you for joining me. If you have any suggestions and things that you would like to hear about, uh, please email me at claire at risinglotusyoga.com. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.